It's an honor for me to talk about the hotline. I really care about this place. I think there's lots of reasons people are drawn to provide services to victims and survivors of domestic violence. And it's not like I was able to give them a bunch of money or give them a place to stay. It's just to be able to connect to that person and let them know that that's not okay. You know, it's the advocates answering the phone that are the heart and soul of, of our operations. It's so fulfilling on a lot of levels and it is hard, but there is the support. Yeah, because you don't deserve any of that. I get my inspiration from the employees that allow me to go to D.C. and speak to members of Congress. We're doing some really cool stuff here, honestly. We want to be on the cusp. We want to be on the front end to think of new ways to reach people. That's definitely one of the things that's kept me here is that freedom to look at new ways of doing things. We're a nonprofit. We have challenges. It's been an active decision on the part of our leadership to make sure that our employees are taken care of. And I've been places where they really liked me. You know, but they didn't treat me as good as they treat folks here. You get so much support, like, in the room with all the other advocates because we're not just advocates to those reaching out, we're like advocates to each other. But when you hear that change in someone's voice where they just felt like there were no options for them, and maybe the person says, I've been in this situation for 10 years, I hear what you're saying, I'm ready to leave, that's an amazing gift that we get exposed to that many others don't, um, you know, in Austin and across the country.